Hi guys, and welcome to today's notes on 5.3. Uh, today we're going to talk about something called a correlation coefficient. Uh, we also call that our R value, so we'll talk about that here today. Um, of course, feel free to pause the video if you need to, um, but I'm going to get started. So 5.3. So to start with, right, our vocab here, what is a correlation coefficient? It's our R value. So it's a number that describes the direction and the strength of a straight line relationship between two quantitative variables. Right, it's our R value for our scatter plot. Um, it's gonna tell us the direction and the strength. Uh, some important factors here about R. And these are some key things to write down. Only for linear form, right? Something that is in a linear form, meaning a line. Uh, it's always a number between negative 1 and 1, right? There's a great chart coming up in the next couple slides that you might want to use. And then R is affected by outliers, right? Our R value is going to change depending on if we have an outlier or not. So moving forward here, right? This is that chart I was talking about. And it kind of talks about, notice we have some scatter plots here. Uh, if we look on the far left, right, an R value of 1 is where everything is almost in a perfect straight line and it's going up, right, from left to right, it's going up in a positive direction, right, that's a 1. Notice on the right-hand side, a negative 1. Notice they're very similar to one another, but the reason it's negative is because from left to right, it's going down in a negative direction. So right, this is key, right? R equals one positive straight line, R equals negative one negative straight line relationship. Key thing to notice right in the middle, both ways coming from a positive one and coming from a negative one, notice the points are starting to spread out more and more, right? We say it has a weak relationship or we say it has no correlation. The more and more those points are spread out, we can't really tell, hey, is there a relationship between them or not? So this is a great chart, so I highly recommend maybe writing this down, taking screenshot of this, whatever you need so that you have it. So looking here, we have some examples. Most of the time, these are gonna be questions like multiple choice questions. Um, but in, in this case, we're just gonna roughly guess what they might be. So we're going to give it an R value. First thing you should always look for is, right, is it positive, negative, or no correlation? So I'm going to go through each one right now and just do that. Right, if we look at this one, positive, positive. This one may be positive, but right, the points are kind of all over, so I might even just say no. This one, negative, negative, and this one mostly positive. So now what we have to think about each one is, is it strong? Are they all kind of together in a straight line? Is it quite spread out? Or are they all over the place and we have no idea what direction it's going? So one like this, notice if I were to draw a line, and we're going to talk about that line is called here later on in this chapter, right? If I have this line here that goes through my points, notice... Most of them are really close to that line, maybe not all on there. So I'm gonna give it a 0.9, right? Really close to a one, but not quite a one. We look at this next one here. Again, if I were to draw a line through it, right? It's not perfect. Points are fairly close to it, but not really, right? There's some pieces that are kind of off, so maybe we give it a 0.6. This one, if anything, maybe you say it's kind of positive, but the points are all over with no correlation, or you could say that it's weak, which would mean our R value is gonna be very close to zero. Very close to zero. Uh, looking at these next ones here, right? This one coming down, again, looks fairly similar to this one right here, but now this time in a negative direction. Look at this one, a little closer together than maybe the one on the left, so maybe we give it a point. Seven, negative again, right? And then this one's tricky, and right, we talk about outliers and things. If we were to forget about these points, 
right? That that would be a pretty close line there. And maybe we would say, hey, you know, that's a, like a 0.8. But in this case, since we have those points that kind of skew it on the side here, or we have those outliers there, it throws it off and makes it maybe a 0.6 or maybe even a 0.5. But again, this will be a little easier when we're given like multiple choice questions, things like that. So our next one here, we're going to compare four graphs. So it says, approximately, what do you think the correlation coefficient is for each graph? Which graph shows the most valid correlation? Meaning the strongest um, correlation that we have, right? Strong, valid correlation. So if we look at all of these, first, right, I'm going to kind of draw that line of best fit or that regression line that we're going to talk about later. So looking at these, right, if we think about which one's the strongest, I, th I think right away we could look and say, well, it's not D, right? Very spread out there. And even if we look at A, these letters are all over the place, right? We'll say that's A, that's B, this C should be the, oh, this will be C and this will be D. Sorry about that. So right, C and A are out, so now it's between B and D, and it says most valid. Not only are we concerned about is it positive or, or is it really close together or not, but we also, one might be more valid than the other because look at how many data points this one has compared to the very few number of data points here. So in this case, this would be our best answer because there's more data and it's still very strong. So an example here talking about outliers and how they affect how they affect our data. So let's think here first, right? If we were to draw a regression line, line of best fit here, might look something like this. So it says, what would happen if we remove A, B, and C? Right, if we focus on A, right, we would call this an outlier. If we are to get rid of an outlier, so what happens when we remove A, it is going to get closer to positive 1 or get stronger. Right, those mean the same thing in this case. Right, our R value would get closer to positive 1 or stronger. Similar idea with B. Right, so I'm going to kind of combine these together. Right, B is not quite as much as an outlier as A is, but it's still an outlier. And so that information would be true for this one as well. Now let's look at C. Right, C is right on that line. And so if we are to remove a point that's in line with our data, it's actually going to get weaker, which in this case means closer to zero, right? Our R value is going to get closer to zero. Again, couple more examples here, right? Outliers are any point far outside of the rest of our data, right? If we look here, there's one, there's one, here's one. And the key idea, right, is what happens if we have an outlier? Well, it makes our data or our correlation coefficient here weaker or closer to zero, right? If we are to remove these things, we would actually make all of these stronger. And now we have to think, what does that mean? Well, in this case, stronger would mean closer to positive one. In this case, stronger means closer to an R value of negative one, right? Notice the difference. They're still both getting stronger, but in different ways. One's a positive correlation, the other one's a negative. So right, that's a key thing about outliers. They make it weaker, but if you get rid of them, 
they will get stronger and you have to understand is it getting closer to positive one or closer to negative one. So last one here, just looking at this question, uh, does the scatter plot show a valid correlation? Why or why not? Right. If we look at this data, it's really asking ourselves, do we have a strong R value? Right. Is it is R close to one or negative one or is it closer to zero? And right in this case, right, with points all over the place, right, we have some here, but not real correlation there all over the place with it being closer to zero, this is not valid because our R value is so close to zero. So right, it's looking for those outliers, looking for the correlation or that R value. So that is it for today's lesson on 5.3, talking about R values or our correlation